Begin by removing the front engine cover, red arrow, by pulling it straight up and off. And then remove the left side duck, yellow arrow, by compressing it in and off the air filter cover. If you need additional assistance, please see our article and video on engine cover removal for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. Drain the coolant from your radiator. If the coolant is still good, save it to a clean container and reuse it. If not, now is a good time to flush your system. Please see our article on coolant drain and flush for additional assistance by again following the link provided at the end of this video. You will need to remove the poly V or drive belt, red arrow. Use a 17 millimeter socket and turn the tensioner counterclockwise until you can slip the belt off of it. If you're going to reuse the belt, make sure to mark the direction of rotation before removing. Do not get your fingers pinched in between them. This photo illustrates the path of the belt. You can see where it passes the alternator, red arrow, power steering pump, green arrow, and the AC compressor. Use this illustration when installing the new belt. Next, remove the thermostat to give you access to the oil housing bolts. Make sure to order a new thermostat gasket before you start. Again, please see our article and video on thermostat replacement for additional assistance by following the link at the end of this video. You're going to be working with e-torque bolts. Make sure you have the right set of e-torque sockets and do not try and remove the hardware with something else. Lock the tensioner in position by turning it all the way counterclockwise and inserting a small Allen into the locking port to hold it open, red arrow. If you don't have an Allen, you can use a drill bit. With the tensioner locked in the open position, you can get access to the two E12 bolts, red arrows, that hold the tensioner in place. Use an E12 socket and remove the bolts and the tensioner. Use an E10 torque socket and remove the single bolt and the idler pulley from the thermostat as indicated by the red arrow. The oil filter housing, red arrow, has the oil cooler attached to it, yellow arrow, and runs both the oil and coolant through the housing to get to the cooler. Unlike just removing the cooler, you can remove the housing without removing the power steering reservoir, green arrow. Use an E12 torque and remove the five bolts holding the housing to the engine, red arrows. The bolts are different lengths, so make a diagram or another way to keep track of them as you remove them. With all the bolts off, you should be able to wiggle and pull the housing from the block. If your seam's really stuck, make sure you have removed all the bolts and try gently prying it away. But make sure you don't place anything between the mounting surfaces of the housing or the engine. Pull the old gasket from the housing. You may need to use a pick or a small flathead screwdriver to get it out, but use care not to scratch or gouge the surface, red arrow. scotch Bright pads are a good idea to use here. In this photo, you can see the channels for the oil, red arrows, and the channels for the coolant, yellow arrows. Make sure the block is clean and free of any old gasket material. Install the new gasket and torque to spec. Installation is the reverse of removal, and don't forget to refill your coolant and oil. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.